our vision and word. What was very encouraging was that the same dove that we saw yesterday with green olive twig in his beak, he was going from person to person. It was such a nice, such a welcome smile in his uh, uh, face, enchanting, so to say, and the green twig was life and peace. And this was the ministry of the dove. And I thought, that's our MOD, that's our ministry of defense, the ministry of dove, with the green leaf with its beak. So I was told, on your beak, on your mouth, has have only words of life and peace, which was the Levitical covenant. And these are the days of the bridal preparation, just like the dove. We remember in Psalm 68, the golden-breasted dove going from camp to camp, so to say. And it, it, that was the way Yahweh Sabbath moved as a dove from camp to camp with a golden-breasted uh, uh, feathers and silver wings. Uh, it was a kind of military activity, but it was out of love. And it went from camp to camp, spreading the good news. And great was the company, we were told, that spread the good news. So th this is the Lord's preparation in this time to make us have the ministry of the dove speaking peace quietness, and always to our antagonists, to our loved ones, people in distress because of the, because of the COVID trouble, uh, many people are in distress. So not to get into fisticuffs that, that, that the church in love will be more effective than the church militant. This was quite a, what shall I say, for me it was a necessary a revelation because I have been quite militant in my ways and in my talk, but he said this is the time of love. So the Song of Songs came alive, many, many songs of yesteryear, a sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, what a wonder you are, you are the bride and the morning star. Uh, so many of those old hymns came alive. He's a lily of the valley, the bride and morning star. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. And then, uh, while the ministry of this dove was going on with, uh, with romance, with love, and the cooing of the dove, mourning like a dove, so many expressions of the dove we know in the scriptures, and there was a night vision of the Lord very militant, and he was riding the lion of the tribe of Judah, and he was also moving on a horse, white horse, with a sword clearing up, the heavenly places over a nation, maybe, over your call, maybe, and heavenly armors, he heavenly army, uh, were, were ready. Heavenly armor will enter the land. The battle belongs to the Lord. That's the sense I got. But uh, the, while the Lord is getting ready with military readiness to defend the bride and to come into every nation, we were asked to, we were asked to get ready in love for a season of love. It was like the spice garden of songs to uh, song of songs, and then it was like the uh, uh, the song of songs, chapter six, verse twelve, clad with the sun in its uh, brightness, in its glory, and with the moon in its uh, gentleness. This was the sense that the Lord was moving in us, and great would be the company that moves in this new, new, new season. The, do, the, the Lord opening the doors of heaven from Psalm 78, the Lord opening the doors of heaven, the Lord striking the rock and giving streams of water, it is all done by Him. And while His provision will be endless for His people, He is asking us to move in love, move in peace, move in kindness, move in conciliation, and... Uh, and that uh, he will take care of the military part of it. This is, this is what we need to know, that the Lord will take care of the military uh, movements, the, the battle readiness, but we are to move in love and we are to move in quietness. Uh, this is the two different pictures of the dove, the bride getting ready like the dove, and spreading such a smiling face, such an alluring face. I was very attracted to that face when the bride was moving like that. Uh, at, at the same time, the Lord, the King of Glory, preparing for His battle, uh, and nations are getting ready. So, how will a nation be saved?
when the bride enters into bridal adoration of the heavenly bridegroom. And Sri Lanka had a great revival moment in Ceylon Pentecostal Mission from 1923 to 1953. Uh, they captured so much of the bride of Christ, uh, the glory, the, the company of the Lamb, the Zion company, oh, marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion, marching up to Zion, that, that, that is from Isaac Newton. So even in that moment, they really knew the people of Zion, the people who will have authority because of the bride. Psalm 2, we know, is all about the city of Zion and the king of Zion moving through his people. But we need to be the job that loves and spreads peace and put that pleasant, smiling face. Our antagonists, our protagonists, and have no barrier like that, have no prejudice about whom God may bless. God will bless one and all. Yes, uh, this we must remember that God has no prejudice. He gives chances again and again. That is why we take the message of the dub, the attitude of the dub, and as we uh, move uh, in the campfires, we move from camp to camp, as Psalm 68 says, beg your pardon, yes, uh, we move from camp to camp, as Psalm 68 says, uh, from camp, in the, uh, while the campfires are burning, uh, we move, blessed the Lord who bears our burden, the God who is our salvation, the God, uh, God of deliverance. Repeatedly we got this word, Psalm 68 verses 19 and 20, then the Lord, uh, the, the Lord will move uh, like, the, uh, like the dove with the golden breast, and there it will be a great company. Your God has commanded your strength. that God will move through. This is the bride that the Lord will defend always. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that we can understand that this is the way the Lord will move in, this, in, in, the, in these times. Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Praise His holy name. May you be encouraged to move in meekness, that God will move in majesty. That's the way we move in meekness and God moves in majesty. So the promise in Psalm 68, 11, the Lord gives the command. The company, the Saba, who proclaim the good tidings are a great Saba. Uh, the, the, the kings of armies flee, they flee, and she... ...kings of Adab, covered with silver, and its pinion, the breast, breast feathers, are glistening gold. This is the moment for the bride while God gets ready. God's got an army marching through this land. Deliverance is their song, healing in, this, in their hands, right at this COVID time. We said how COVID time fears a lot of fear. I like to take it up again uh, so that yesterday at 4.30, I heard Jesus say, 4.30 p.m., I heard Jesus say, sweet Jesus is coming, get down on the floor. I realized for too long, I had been seated on my writing chair. I got on the floor and felt Jesus sweeping over with all the bridal affection songs. Uh, because I remember many, many, for many years at 4.30, the Lord would come, uh, 4.30 in the evening, preparing me for evening ministry, like the hound of heaven. And when I get that sense of the Lord drawing near, I could know the time would be 4.30. It was so very specific, so very identifiable. He is awakening bridal sons and intimacy and bridal authority. As the church bridal songs, and as the church prepares as the dove, heaven moves for such a bride with heavenly armies. Jesus rides as the lion of the tribe of Judah. At family prayer time last night, the vision was Jesus battling for his bride. Heavenly armies in array. Uh, bright as the sun and fair as the moon. This is the way, and uh, he'll bring us to his banqueting house, Song of Songs, chapter 2. So it was all a gog. And remember, this is the ministry of the dove, our M.O.D., our Minister of Defense, yes, uh, he'll bring us into his banqueting house and his uh, banner of us is love. Always the victorious banner is love. We must never miss this, never forget this, that the victorious banner of God's people is love. And I'll add this uh, COVID time. Yesterday we, we said we will move like dove with a green olive twig and we will not be like a raven 
who picks a bone all the time. We will not get into cantankerous arguments over something or over nothing. Uh, so we want to bring cheer and kindness to all COVID-positive people. They need empathy and understanding, any kindness we can extend. Uh, it's, COVID is an equalizer of mighty and small. Every cough and fever is now under condemnation. will get to know. COVID positive brings a denial of symptoms. This can't be COVID. The COVID plus brings a hiding. Less people get to know. COVID plus brings a worry. Will I infect my family? COVID plus brings a guilt. Will I be a trouble to my family? COVID plus brings an anger. This government or whoever and we start blaming anyone. COVID plus brings dejection. Why did God let me down? COVID plus brings a fear. How will I get my means? COVID plus brings despair. There are drugs but doctors don't keep them. COVID plus brings loneliness, long hours of isolation. COVID plus brings panic. If I get hypoxia, will I give, have a hospital bed? COVID plus who will take me to hospital? But we hope better. We hope better because God is kind, exceedingly kind. And may we be kind to one another at this time, uh, to people we like or people we don't like. Uh, let, uh, let that completely change our, uh, our, our view of what we think of people. Let it completely change. And I saw the lamb also, and the lamb kind arising in the pastures. O oh Lord, bless us with the nature of the dove, the dove which is our emory.